Hello, welcome, thank you for being here today. I'm going to present to you on how to apply your mascara. Especially if you're in the situation where you fly out of the house and find out that you don't have your favorite brand mascara with you. Or if you're like me, who tries out different mascaras and you don't like that mascara, you don't like how it enhances your eyelashes, then you don't want to waste your money, you want to keep on using it anyways. Well, this is a good process how to use that mascara that fits and makes you more content. Now, the three points that we're going to be using, besides the value of why you should use or can use mascara, we're going to be talking about the materials that you need in order to make this process of putting on mascara, and also the process of making the mascara onto your eyes. I would like to introduce to you my friend named Daniel Wikes, and she is a worker of Unique. She is an independent presenter, and right here you have how there is no mascara, and here there is mascara, and you can see the difference between how mascara enhances your eyes. Not only does it enhance your eyes, but it also brings out each and your eyelash. And it can enhance your eyelashes in different ways that you choose, whether that be lengthening, or coloring, or darkening, or voluminizing. If you look at my eyes, you see that one of them is the has mascara on and one does not. Now the makeup that I used to make the mascara is with a brand that I did not like, I did not prefer, but yet with this process we'll see how you can still like it. So not only does it brighten your eyes but and make a pop look like oh wow that girl has pretty eyes but also actually enhances your eyelashes where you notice them more. Now the materials that you will need in order to put on mascara is not only mascara, but also your fingers, something sharp and needle-like, but yet small, so you don't poke your eye out. I use an earring because it's something that you can find around your house or inside your purse or even in your car. And then lastly, you should, you know, just in case that you get mascara around your eye or on your eyelid, some soap or makeup remover to remove the excess mascara. Now these are the materials you need and the process onto how to apply onto your eyes. Now we're going to this. Now the way you start is that you take the brush with a liquid and you go from the base of the root to the tip of the root. You don't want to gush and put lots of mascara on the bottom, but you more want to the top because the top is what people see. And if it's on the bottom, on the base, then it puts the eyelashes more down. Now comes the interesting part is that, oh, there's two ways to put on the mascara. One way is that you can shake it as you're going up your eyelashes, or the way that I prefer is that you twist the eye the brush as you go up, as you go up to the top of it and it like puts more of the liquid onto your eyelashes and makes it more longer. Now fingers. Now I usually use my pointer finger, sometimes I end up using six fingers and you take your finger and you press it up and onto your eyelashes. Now you press it there as if making them more rounded. You already have your coat of mascara it's not completely dry, it's not completely soaking wet, but if you're like me that wants a more natural look, it's okay to get the excess liquid off of the eyelashes anyways. And so you simply hold your finger there for like 10 seconds, and if you want to, you can change your finger and hold the other place for another 10 seconds. I don't like damaging my eyelashes, so this is a way, interesting way, I found that I can lick my eyelashes and let it dry up in a way that it stays in one position. So you have your mis coat, mascara, you have your fingers. Okay, but once you put your fingers there, the eyelashes clump together. What do you use? You use an earring. <laughs> and how to use an earring is because you have the needle-like part that goes and you can separate each and every eyelash that clumps together. Or if you have any, um, the, it, whether they're sticking or if you have this like bulb, then you just take it off with your earring. 
and you're done. You got it there. And then lastly, you have the excess makeup and you take that off with the soap and then you look all right. Of course, you can do your bottom lashes if you want to and then you're done. All right. So, I would like to share a quote with you that was told by Sophia Lauren. And that is, beauty is how you feel inside and it reflects in your eyes. It is not something physical. Therefore, beauty is what's inside of you and not what's outside of you. Jim Mafush tells us to always wash your hands. You're supposed to wash your hands before you put on your mascara on your eyes. But no matter how much you make, put makeup on your eyes, no matter how many times you wash your hands, that's not the beauty. Beauty does not come in mascara. It comes in putting your insides that has the beauty. Now, you can use mascara because it pops out to the eyes and pops out that beauty because the beauty is seen through your eyes. And you can do that by using these materials, which is mascara, which is fingers, earring, and soap to remove excess mascara. And lastly, if you remember, the steps to apply them. Alright, thank you for joining me, and I hope you understood and got something out of this presentation.